After we finish the soundtrack here in the studio, that show has just barely scratched the surface of becoming a show for Showbiz Pizza Place. From there, we have to take it into programming. Now, that's where things get tricky, because there we have to make the characters look like they are performing the work that was performed as a cumulative effort here in the studio. Okay, now that's tough, because that means we've got to put down a signal on each character's body parts every time it's supposed to move. That means if an eyelid moves, it takes a signal. And it has to be specially placed there by special equipment and specially talented programmers and choreographers. I bet that pizza tastes good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Smells good. Okay, now let's say I wanted to go into programming. I could hit exit, you know, but screw that. I just hit play. Tickle fight, no tickle fight neither. Okay, now you can see all those movements. Turn that down. You can see all the movements are happening. Right. But now that's what this online button is for. So I go online like that. Now there's no head movements. Yeah. None of the heads are moving, but I can make a move like this. There's the right, I mean the left, okay. Uh, this is the programmer that I'm using to program the show with. I've been using this since about 1980. Uh, it consists of two Apple IIe computers. Um, this was the choice computer back in 1980. And, um, and we put all of our time and effort into developing the software and putting it on these great memory devices called floppy disks. Some of you may not know what these are, but they're called floppy disks. But at show, Miss Pizza, you can act like a kid.